Did you know that eye movement patterns of experts and non-experts differ? Experts in art history are more focal when looking at architectural artifacts. Whereas experienced pilots have their attention more widely distributed than novices. We started Eye Tracking Research Center in 2014 as a sister lab of Eye Tracking Lab of Clemson University in South Carolina. We still, from that moment, build the bonds of international collaboration of eye tracking researchers. And we develop the method of eye tracking, working uh, actively in the hardcore eye tracking research. We also seek for new applications of eye tracking in different fields mainly human-computer interaction, interaction of human beings with any technology, and especially digital media accessibility. My doctoral project is related to uh, creating machine learning models uh, that can predict uh, cognitive overload in the real-time learning situations. Uh, in this study, uh, we are also collaborating with University of Lisbon, uh, in the future steps of the study, uh, we will also work with a wonderful scientist from a Copernicus Science Center in Poland, ETH in Switzerland and uh, IT University of Copenhagen in Denmark, thanks to the ICE4ICU Consortium. The aim of, of my project is to study attention uh, by using eye tracking in uh, heavy uh, machine operators uh, in order to create a model that is able to uh, predict their uh, behavior while driving. At a tracking Research Center at SWPS University in Warsaw, I explore how a tracking can improve road safety. This is the part of my implementation doctorate project. My researches focus on comparing the visual attention of novice and expert tram drivers while operating tram simulator. The goal of this project is to create a training program for novices based on the gaze patterns of experts. Our eye tracking research center has established many important collaboration with companies and personalities from all around the world. For us, one of the most important networthy collaboration is with the company RealEye. It's a platform to conduct online eye tracking research. We had the chance to participate in the Brain Days 2023, where we are showing how to run an online eye tracking research using RealEye. In the ice for icu consortium of seven European universities, we develop cutting-edge PhD projects in collaboration with industry. I believe that the projects in which we are involved have a great potential to make a societal change. For example, the Friendly City project in a consortium of our university and University of Łódź aims at broadening access to cultural heritage, namely city architecture, for blind and visually impaired, and also for tourists, by providing audio descriptions of certain buildings available uh, for a dedicated application that is linked with a system of beacons distributed via city transport stops. Nowadays, we are equipped with several remote eye trackers, several mobile eye trackers, like the one I'm wearing right now, which allow us to track the eyes of our participants outside the lab and even outside the buildings. And now uh, we do have the equipment for tracking the eyes in virtual reality. I'm leading now the European project, which is called Lead Me Cause Action gathers together 180 researchers and other partners uh, who are dealing with digital media accessibility issues. The aim of this project is to develop new technologies which will allow better accessibility of digital media content for everyone, 
Nowadays, we run several uh, research projects, some of them funded by European Union. All of them are done with the collaboration with our partners. But we are open to new collaborations. So if you share the same interest as we have in human-computer interaction and the eye-tracking patterns, do not hesitate to contact us, no matter what academia career stage you are.